Use the number lines to answer the questions. I'm going to start with number six. What number is located halfway between points E and F? Well, let's start by figuring out what E and F are. We have 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So halfway between E and F would be 70. Complete the remaining problems using the number lines as a tool to help you. What do you notice about this thermometer? You may notice that it's measuring in degrees Celsius rather than degrees Fahrenheit. You can also see that the indicator is showing that it is at 10 degrees. What do you wonder about this? Do you think the temperature can go above 59 degrees? Here we see two thermometers, one showing 10 degrees above zero and one showing 10 degrees below zero. How are the two temperatures alike? Well, they're both 10 away from zero. Oops, not there. Zero is this line here. So they're both 10 away from zero. But they're different because they're going in different directions. One is above zero and one is below zero. Which temperature is colder? 10 degrees above freezing or 10 degrees below freezing. Zero degrees Celsius is the freezing point. So 10 above or 10 below. Well, 10 below freezing would be colder because it's colder than the temperature it takes to freeze. When we say that temperatures are above or below freezing, what temperature in degrees Celsius would represent the freezing point? It would be zero degrees Celsius. For Fahrenheit, which we use here in the United States, it's a different number. But for Celsius, it is zero for freezing. Which temperature do you think the number represents? 10 degrees above or 10 degrees below freezing on the phone? Here I have a negative 10. That would represent below freezing. So a negative number is a number that's below zero. A negative number is a number that is less than zero. So it's left on the number line or below zero on a vertical number line going up and down. What do you think numbers that are greater than zero are called? If one's below zero are called negative, what would we call the ones above zero? We call those positive numbers. And we've worked with those for quite some time. Problem one asks us to write a positive number, a negative number, or zero to represent the temperature on each thermometer. So here is zero, so this is below zero, so it's going to be a negative value, and it is one, two, three, four marks below zero, so it is negative four. This one is lined up right at zero, and this one is above zero, so it's going to be a positive number. We don't need a symbol in front of a positive number, but in some cases we write the plus symbol to represent positives. Here we have one, two, three, four marks above zero, so this is positive four.
write a positive number, a negative number, or zero to represent the temperature given in each statement. Water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. That would be represented by the number zero. The temperature of the human body is 37 degrees above zero. Above we talked about was a positive. So this is positive 37. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration recommends that freezer temperatures be set at 18 degrees below zero. Below represents a negative. So this is negative 18. Where would this thermometer show a temperature of one degree? Well, this line represents zero. So one degree is one mark above zero. What about five? One, two, three, four, five marks. That's that medium sized line here. Is it five? For negative one, we would go one mark below zero. And for negative five, we would go five marks below zero. That's that medium sized line. So we can think of this thermometer as a vertical number line or an up and down number line. We can move up one unit from zero to plot the point positive one, or we can move below zero to represent negatives. Which temperature would be the warmest? One degrees Celsius, five degrees Celsius, or 10 degrees Celsius? Here is one. Here is 5, and here is 10. 10 would be the warmest because it's the highest on the thermometer. If we move farther up the thermometer, do temperatures get warmer or colder? Warmer. If we move below, the temperatures get colder and the temperatures decrease. Right, so we have the start of a number line, and we are going to continue this number line below zero. All right, so we are going to work to start making the little tick marks that are evenly spaced or as evenly spaced as we can get them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going into the negatives. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, negative ten. And so this point in the middle we have labeled at zero. And then we can label our tick marks from one to ten and from negative one down to negative ten. So we talked about the temperature that was 1 degrees, 5 degrees, 10 degrees. And now we're also going to plot negative 1, negative 5, and negative 10 on the line. A lot of times the mistakes I see people make are that they put their dot over here next to the negative 1. But we want to make sure that we include our dot on the line where the tick mark crosses. So negative 1. We don't want to put it over here with our number or over here on the tick mark off to the side. We want it right on the line over the tick mark. So as we move farther down, these temperatures get colder and colder. And we could continue even below negative 10 
if we extended our number line farther. As we move up, those temperatures get warmer and warmer. On a horizontal number line, our warmer temperatures move to the right and our colder temperatures would move to the left. So our positives are over here and our negatives are going to show up on the left side of zero. So to plot the point positive one, we would move from zero to the right one tick mark. Again, lining it up on the line and the tick mark. If we wanted to plot the point positive five, we would move one, two, three, four, five to the right. And if we wanted to move to positive 10, we would start at zero and move 10 to the right. For negatives, we're going to move over into the left of zero. So for negative one, we move one to the left of zero. For negative five, we move one, two, three, four, five to the left of zero. And for negative 10, we would go 10 to the left. As we move to the right, those temperatures are warmer and greater. And as we move to the left, they get lower, colder, and less. Plot and label a point on the vertical number line that represents each temperature. So we're going to plot 7 degrees Celsius. That's positive, so it should be 7 above 0. This is negative 4, so it should be 4 below 0. A temperature that is 2 degrees warmer than 7. So here's 7. If it's warmer, it's going to go up for positive 9. A temperature that is 2 degrees colder than negative 4. Colder goes farther down our number line. So that puts us at negative 6. Plot and label a point on the number line that represents each temperature. Three degrees Celsius above freezing, that's positive three. Three degrees Celsius below freezing would be negative three, so three to the left of zero. And the temperature water freezes in degrees Celsius. Well, the freezing point was zero degrees Celsius. So this was part A, part B, and part C. Consider the number line with points labeled P, Q, and R. Each interval on the number line has a length, is a length of one unit. If P represents zero, what numbers do Q and R represent? Well, if it's one unit, this would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And back here we'd have negative 1 and negative 2. So if P represents 0, what numbers do Q and R represent? Well, Q would represent 4. And R would represent 8. Then it says, well, what if, instead of P being 0, what if Q was 0? Well, then P is going to represent negative 4, and R would represent positive 4. How about if R was 0? We would go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, and negative 10. So P would represent negative 8, and Q would represent negative 4.
We also have other interpretations of zero. Instead of it being the freezing point, we could think of zero as being the sea level. So it says, what do you notice in the picture? What do you think the word elevation means in this situation? I see a diver, a hiker, and somebody on a sailboat. So I have people above, below. The word elevation. Elevation is talking about the height of something, not a temperature. It says, what do you think the word sea level would mean? So sea level is the level of the water. So the level of the water, the surface of the water for sea level. And it says sea level is the level of the surface of the sea. If the boat is on the sea, which person is above sea level? The hiker would be above sea level. Which person is below sea level? The diver, he's going down under the water. And which person is at sea level? The sailor. He is at the sea level. He's at the surface of the water. Elevation is the height of a person, place, or thing above or below a certain reference point. In this case, our reference point is the sea level. And so we use that level to reference elevations across the globe. Write a positive number, a negative number, or zero to represent each elevation. Remember the heights of different things. Plot and label a point on the number line that represents each elevation. Pay close attention. The scale, what we're counting by on our number line, is no longer one unit. Now we're counting by fives. So it says a bird is 25 feet above sea level. That's positive 25, so above zero. There would be the bird. A diver is 10 feet below sea level. That would be negative 10. So 10 below zero. 5, 10. A swimmer is at sea level. So that would be zero for the swimmer. And a fish is the same distance below sea level as the bird was above sea level. So the bird was 25 above, which means that our fish is 25 above below. All right, so this lesson is primarily focused on the difference between positive and negative numbers. They are similar in the sense that they represent values of real world numbers like temperatures or sea level or debt for money. But they're different in the sense that some of our numbers are above zero, which are the positives, and some of our numbers are below zero, which would be the negatives.